I'm Maggie Marshall here in Powhatan, where community members continue to push for changes when it comes to how discrimination is being handled in schools. We have seen almost no movement forward or any Passionate Powhatan community member showed up Tuesday night to continue to voice how they feel the school board is handling concerns they've raised regarding alleged discrimination in schools. We find the lack of action inexcusable. Our children who spoke out at the last board meeting faced loss of learning time from continued peer harassment and from extensive meetings with administration who were never properly trained to check in with students regarding their racial trauma. Many have been retaliated against, both inside and outside of school, for their advocacy. At March's rescheduled school board meeting, hundreds of community members came out to support students and families, sharing their experiences about the alleged discrimination they faced. People began speaking up about these issues at school board meetings after a photo circulated on social media in February, which allegedly showed a Powhatan High School student with a racial slur written on her arm. Parents say their students have continued to experience racial slurs over the last month. She told me there was no point in complaining because they're not going to do anything anyways. And that that's her mentality towards the treatment she's receiving at the school. They are calling on the school board to make policy changes, giving harsher punishments for discrimination. There were no discrimination policy changes on Tuesday night's agenda. Superintendent Beth Tigen says since the March meeting, the district has been working with the Virginia Center for Inclusive Communities to establish a plan and timeline to address concerns. She says the organization met with administration last week to host a dialogue on respect, understanding and the impact of words. They say this will be continued on all levels from staff to students and their contract with VCIC lasts through the fall. This is not easy change, no change that you want to maintain can be done quickly. You must invest, it, it requires planning and it requires purposeful steps. School board members also responded to concerns. They say they hear the public and add they are unable to advertise how they are disciplining students. Racism is wrong. So School board members shared they are currently looking at ways to change the district's rights and responsibility policy. They say the work is being done and they want community members feedback before the initial presentation of edits at the main meeting. We want to encourage you, and I do personally, for you all to look at those and see how you would like to see any improvements, changes. It takes some time to do the job right and go through the proper procedures to make sure it's a strong policy for all our children. The school board will not meet again until May. In Powhatan, I'm Maggie Marshall, CBS 6 News.